I'm just realizing that this is like flat. I want to dance like so bad, but I can't. But I want to. I'm gonna try this. I don't know if it will work. Probably not, but I'm, I'm just gonna try. I think it's gonna work. I am wearing a t-shirt for the first time. That is surreal. That is surreal. <laughs> My heart is beating so fast and I can feel it now because it's like there right now. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I don't know if I fully realized because like I can still feel like the compression stuff on my nipples and like obviously I'm still wearing something underneath so I think that is what makes it feel so like unreal like as if it's a binder and it could still be there like I think I need to wear something like really 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 tight <laughs> because then Obviously, I will see that it is my chest. I'm gonna maybe try to put on like a different shirt. Also, today is the first full moon having a flat chest, which feels really special. I also always save this shirt here because I was like, if I ever get top surgery, I wanna keep this shirt. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what happened? <laughs> I love this. No, okay, this is still too tight for me, and I don't want to push it, you know. But I can maybe get around with trying this on. This is how I look. Like looking into the mirror now, I just see what I always felt like inside, and like seeing that in the mirror is like. I'm still like looking for the chest. Like in in the mirror, I'm like. I see, I see there is something, but then I have to look again, and there's nothing. Because my mind is so like, I know there is something. <laughs> I love this. My life. I also like, I dreamed of this moment like since I was like 16 or so. Seeing myself in the mirror and like recognizing myself and just looking there without having this like constant mental fight of like trying to imagine how my chest would be if it would be flat, you know? Because now it is flat and like I don't have this barrier in my head and I don't have this like like struggle. Now retrospectively I can see how much like the dysphoria was actually always there. I just didn't really notice it because it was just like that's all I knew basically. I don't know there's just like this whole layer of dysphoria that was always there. It's just like gone. I mean I still have dysphoria around like different parts of my body but like it is Monday today and I'm I think 12 days post-op. I feel really good. I had my first therapy session again post-op, which is it's, it's wild. I really noticed how I was just so much more present in the room. Like I was so grounded and I was so just like there. I don't know, I just feel so much more in tune with my body. Also, I have a little update with my top surgery. How is it called? Like I still have my incision stuff in. I forgot how it's called. But they have to remove that like two weeks after the surgery. And I had my initial appointment for that 19 days after surgery. And for me, like in my head, it sounded like a lot of time. And so I contacted my surgeon again. And now I have my appointment tomorrow, which will be one day before two weeks. Always listen to your intuition with your healing journey and contact your surgeon or your doctor. Please do that. And I also today some Bipantene cream on my nipples for the first time.
first time and it felt kind of weird because like on my left nipple I didn't feel anything so I just like felt some like skin <laughs> but I didn't feel it on my nipple that was kind of weird but on the other side on the right side I have so much more sensation like on the nipple itself I always imagined it being like a completely hole like a black hole where you just don't feel anything because like a lot of people are kind of explain it that way that they just don't feel anything and it feels like you're touching I don't know something else but for me it wasn't like that like I really I can feel how I'm touching here like here here I have everywhere I have sensation and I really didn't expect that and there you also see again like how much it really depends on your own body and I'm gonna open this now and I'm gonna put some Bepantene cream on also I was listening to I think it's called The Company and it is so amazing it was only like three hours or so and it was like T4T poly cottage core vibe that is literally what I was looking for and I'm so glad I got that that is how it looks it is so incredible. <laughs> I think this will never get old. I think I will never fully ever get bored of looking at my chest. Like, <sighs> to be able to hold my hand here. This just hit different while I did this to show you. I can just hold my hand here. for the first time. It feels good to be back and I also feel like everything is kind of greener now and I'm still walking like really slowly and I also only walked like one third or one fourth of like the actual walk and now I'm just slowly walking back because I notice okay I still can't walk like the full round. It's so nice to see the moss again today like my brain felt as if it's rotting I feel like everything is tensed and like my back hurts because I'm like walking really cramped it feels like forever ago when I had the surgery so wild that it's only been like 15 days or so <laughs>
It is Friday today and I have my checkup appointment again today. I'm gonna show my chest now. Um, there is some cream on it so you don't see that much. But this is how it looks. Now I massaged it and then I let it dry a little bit. I just put cream on and now I'm gonna put some bhakti glass on there. And then I'm gonna put some compression there. I also had my third checkup appointment today and she just looked at my chest and pulled away some of like crumbsy stuff and she said that it all looks pretty good. Today I also can start to use bio oil. I literally had that for months before top surgery <laughs> because I'm just over prepared and so I'm really excited to use that and to really massage my scars now. I'm gonna show you my scars if you don't want to see them. Like this is all from the compression vest but this is how it looks now. I can just sit here. I can literally just sit here. You know even just sitting in a chair feels different. Whenever I have the compression vest on, I'm just so used to dissociating from this part of my body that I now actively have to train myself to remember that I have a flat chest to allow myself to connect with this part of my body. And I think taking care of my scars is a huge part of that reconnecting to my chest. My brain had a memory of how it felt to have the chest that I had before and like to feel the sensations of like how it feels to itch something here. I just had that in my mind yesterday and that kind of scared me. My chest is flat. <laughs> I could literally show you my notebooks from like years before where I like used to like manifest my flat chest and like write down that I wanna have the surgery and like print out all the photos and stuff and now this is my reality. And I literally only started medically transitioning like last year. So it feels like so far away. Like I feel like I've always had this voice. I feel like I've always had a flat chest. Even before I actively like knew that I was trans and even before I had all the vocabulary and all the knowledge about myself, I always felt this disconnect from how I actually feel and from my body. Now I'm at a point where I'm really self-compassionate. Like I have so much love for all the old versions of myself who just try to survive. I'm just so grateful that I kept going. I'm so grateful that I asked for help even. Like that's the first point where it all got better slowly slowly over years and now i'm here i just love the way that my scars are not completely even just like the imperfections of my scars i really love that because they kind of like tell the story for me and i totally get that not everyone feels that way about their scars and there's like that's also totally fine if you like can't do that with your scars and can't connect with them in that way as you can see i'm starting to itch i need to put oil on my skin like there are so many things that i can do now for my mobility I'm able to do that again. I had a moment a few days ago or like a week ago or so where, where I was really grieving how fast it all is happening because I don't want them to fully disappear because like they just mean so much to me. Now being in this body is the first time that I feel like I have a whole life ahead because it never felt like that when I wasn't with my own body because I wasn't able to because of dysphoria blah 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 but now I am able to and, and this is like a huge privilege that I I'm able to sit here and to talk about my medical transition and that I've had top surgery because that is so not accessible for a lot of people. I'm gonna give you a little update on to like how I care for my scars right now. In three days I'm gonna be four weeks post-op and I'm gonna show you how I take care of them now. This is how it looks. I have these gauze, gauze webs, I don't know how they're called. I have them on here on the nipples. I also don't use any tape anymore which feels really nice on my skin and it isn't that irritated anymore. And the only thing I do is that I shower and I like put some water on there and stuff 
and then when I come out of the shower I use this disinfection spray and then I sometimes use this massage roller and then in the morning I use Bepantene cream wound healing cream I use that that is really nice but I can't massage it in that good because it's not oil based I have like a dog ear here and a little bit here but there it is more prominent and so I really massage it with like a lot of pressure I still try to not put too much pressure on it while massaging but I also think like I need to doing it with my own intuition kind of like how my body feels and I have some spots that are thicker from the wound or the scars and so I try to focus on these points where for example I have the dog ear or whatever and then in the evening when I do my second scar care routine I either use bio oil or I use this oil which is more natural it is Johannes Krautöl that also helped me um, when I had irritated skin from the tape like that is really nice it also is helpful for when I have itchiness on my skin or it's like dry or like irritated and stuff and I also love the smell of it something that has nothing to do with my top surgery recovery I got this book like yesterday it's about astrology and I'm already like halfway through and I like highlighted a lot of stuff like <laughs> That is what happens when I'm in a hyperfocus and I'm just like studying extensively for like hours. Also today was the first day where I was able to water my plants independently, which felt really really nice. I was literally able to totally like put my arm straight to grab the plants that are hanging from my ceiling. It still was a little bit tight here and I could feel that I maybe overstretched it there. But besides that, like, my mobility is, like, really good. I, I still don't push it up too high because then I can feel it here, so I'm, I'm taking it slow. My range of, like, movements and stuff that I am able to do is almost back to normal, which is, like, so wild that it's only taking my body, like, four weeks. And, yeah, I'm really grateful. I know it might seem annoying, but I still want to emphasize that it's only like how my own body is recovering from the surgery. Mm -hmm.